Hey, what's going on Facebook? This is Dan coming to you from Airport Auto Center and our new segment, The Obscure News. Now to prove to you that this is a real newscast, I'll show you this. See? That's what they do in the news. Yesterday, an armed man robbed a bank at gunpoint. After the local police interviewed the victims, they came up with this composite. Well, are you kidding me? He looks like everybody, or nobody. Can you imagine how many people actually called in? There he is, I see him. Okay, I see the guy. You know, he's riding a motorcycle. I know it's winter time, but he has sunglasses on and a face mask thing. It's gotta be him, and he has a backpack. This next headline is pretty promising. Mississippi's literacy program shows improvement. First of all, anybody who's gone to any grade school knows how to spell Mississippi. Improvement. It was on every spelling test. It's the, like the easiest thing to remember. I have an eight-year-old son that can spell Mississippi. This journalist cannot spell, and apparently their uh, literacy program shows improvement. M-I-S-S-I-S-S-I-P-P-I. Good job, Mississippi. Our next news story, Army vehicle disappears. An Australian Army vehicle has gone missing after being painted camouflage. Painted camouflage, and it's just gone. They've been hunting or something like that. You're like, dude, I can only see your head. How do you lose a truck? You know the Army is like, I, I don't know where I put this huge $74,000 truck. How do you lose a truck? We painted it camo, uh, now we just can't see it. And then some guy's walking along, <laughs> Found the truck. It's right here. Then you could see this military leader saying, let's not paint any more of these trucks in camo. I'm sick of losing trucks being painted in camo. We can't afford this. And you can imagine them calling the insurance company. Uh, yeah, we, uh, we lost a truck. We painted it camo and now it's gone. Our last headline today is the best headline. In South Haven today, they reported the city is unsure why the sewer smells. Hey, Bubba, come here. Take a whiff of this. Come here. Smell that. Now why in the world does that stink? It's a sewer. Or gray water is doo-doo water. I've never ever had somebody go to the bathroom and go, go in there. It smells excellent. They always come out saying, wait at least half an hour before you go in there. And the city workers are like, golly, this is a head scratcher. Why, why would our sewer smell? I don't, I don't understand. Cause dookie stinks. But tell all the people in the city to flush a flower. When you take a dookie, make sure you put the flour in it. Now our sewer should smell good. This is Dan with Airport Auto Center signing off, and this was the Obscure News. Have a great day.